Welcome back, my turtles, to another art video with Foxfoot Crafts. Today's art video is going to feature another nine card set featuring Harley Quinn. With this set, I decided to go through and again use the digital program to sketch out a rough draft of how I wanted the characters to look before going and printing it out and drawing it on my paper. I did want to try something a little bit different this time. Um, I wanted to go ahead and sketch all the characters out onto a template of the nine cards and have them all kind of feed into one another and then cut them apart. So I would essentially be drawing one large piece of art and then cutting it into the art trading cards instead of drawing nine small pieces and then trying to piece them together into a larger piece, if that makes any sense. With this set, the only request was that they were different versions of Harley Quinn and that I did include the bombshell version of Harley Quinn. So for all the others, I went ahead and kind of mapped out. I did animated series Harley. I did a chibi Harley, um, the new animated series. And then I kind of included my own versions and couple stylized versions as well. I really like going and sketching them out in this digital program. It, it definitely allows me to adjust and fix problems that I see later and resize and it just, I, I really like it. I, I know that it might seem a little bit wasteful printing it out and then retracing it onto my nicer paper, but again, I do recycle the other paper and I use it to make more paper or I use it to test my marker swatches so I'm not just throwing away the paper afterwards so in a way it almost seems like it helps me to save paper because if I am drawing directly on my nice paper and I mess up then I have to throw that piece away and try a new piece and then try again and try again and I end up making more errors and using more paper that way than if I go through and do a digital piece of it. Harley Quinn is definitely up there in one of my top favorite characters. I definitely relate to her. Um, I love all the different adaptations of her that there are as well. So I just, she's fun for me to draw. She's fun for me to dress up as. She just, I really enjoy Harley Quinn. The sketch process did take a couple days, so I would work on it a little bit, save, come back and work on it some more. And again, I, I like the digital process. It allows me to do that and 
stick with it. Once I am done with the digital sketch, I print it out, take a piece of my thicker cardstock, cut it to the size of nine art trading cards, and go ahead and use my liner pen to outline each of the cards. Like I said, I'm trying a little bit something new with this set. You will notice that the cards kind of bleed onto each other. Um, if you've seen my Venom set that I did, the big part of that was the wings and making sure that they stretched across the cards. So with this one, I kind of wanted all of the cards to piece together with little bits of each other. So they would still stand alone, but still feed into each other at the same time. After I let it sit and dry for 24 hours, then I go ahead and use my markers to color it. I have found that when I ink something it is better if I let it sit for 24 hours or so to actually absorb into the paper a little bit more. Um, if I just use a liner pen and then go on top of that with alcohol markers, it does tend to smear them and leaves me a little frustrated with the work. So had to let it dry. I am left-handed, so I really tried with this piece to focus on coloring on the side furthest from my dominant hand and then closer. That way my hand wouldn't be dragging the ink, smearing it, and I, I do tend to run into that problem a lot as well. So there were a couple times where I wanted to start on a character closer and had to like remind myself to go back to that side of the paper. I did notice that when I was working on this piece, if I wanted to go back and add something to a particular card, it's definitely way easier than having a small pile of cards and digging through and trying to figure out what details I want to add. So getting to see them all in one piece together, it made this process way easier. So again, being able to go back and add little details to ones I've already colored because I'm getting to see them all together really helps. While I was working on coloring Bombshell, I realized that I had left her goggles off. I don't know how I made that mistake. and. I was a little frustrated. I was trying to figure out if I was going to try to cut her out and lay a new piece of paper down or 
what I was going to do about it and I'm, I'm pleased that I just left it alone and then came back to it after settling on my anger and letting myself relax a little bit. I was able to go back and actually add her goggles in and have them look right. Um, I'm glad that I didn't just jump right in and cut her out and cut the paper all apart. And it, it was a smarter decision to just wait and sit on it. After I got them all colored, I decided to go with just a simple bright blue. It's opposite enough to help the reds and yellows pop, but not, not so contrasting that it takes away from the different Harleys. So I, I think blue really looks good with Harley Quinn. And then of course my white marker paint pen to go through and add final touches. I went through and cut everybody out and added my stamp to the back. And from there you have the full nine card set. I went ahead and scanned them in to show the bright vivid colors and post it on here so as you can see the set looks amazing I really like how they look all kind of piecing together um, we have bombshell my own version animated series kind of a Tim Burton inspired another personal version of mine the new animated series a personal kind of renaissance version um, chibi Harley Quinn and then of course a shout out to my Sailor Moon love um, Sailor Harley Quinn so thank you guys for tuning in I had a blast making this set I'm definitely definitely sad to see this one go as well I this is a set that I would love to hold on to it's just really good I really enjoy it the colors look great the characters look great it it's a good set overall but I know it's going to a good home and that it'll be loved and appreciated so if you have a favorite version of Harley Quinn let me know in the comments below I'm definitely interested to know what y'all's favorite version is and I will see you next time